Well, the warm weather that we've been experiencing this month has been impressive, to say the least. So far, we're still at number one for the warmest October on record. So if we continue at this pace, we'll end October on uh, the warmest note on record. Now, that said, we may fall back just a little bit, but I still think at least the top five is very likely as we go throughout this month. As we look at the other years here, I want to note here, 2007, 2017, 2016, all recent years, and actually those are analog years to this year as those years featured La Nina-like conditions. So if you think about those years and what kind of weather we had as we headed into winter, we may see something similar as we head throughout this year as well. So something to keep in mind. Right now, it is gorgeous. Once again today, and it's starting to sound like a broken record. We've had this stretch of beautiful fall weather after the chilly weather this weekend. We've started to see a bit of a rebound the past few days. We're already seeing upper 60s in most areas right now. Wind's a little bit breezier today, and we'll notice a little more of that wind the next couple of days. I think our windiest day will be Thursday as the actual cold front moves through. You see, we are looking at lots of sunshine all across the area today. We have a little bit of cloud cover, parts of Illinois, just some high thin clouds. I may get here getting closer to sunset. We'll probably make the sunset even more vibrant this evening. You can see our next system bringing some showers, a little bit of snow over parts of Wyoming. That is going to head its way across the Plain States tonight to tomorrow, and that brings a little bit of rain our way Wednesday night. But still doesn't look like we're going to get a whole lot of moisture from this system. But the bigger impact, the cool down behind it. So as we look at your forecast here, Again, plenty of sunshine through this evening, a few clouds tonight. Tomorrow, I'm still going to call for mostly sunny skies. Dry throughout the day, warmer as well. In fact, we could be pushing towards the mid-70s. So enjoy tomorrow because we start to see those changes. Thursday morning, we see a few showers work through. It looks like mainly before about 10 o'clock on Thursday morning. And we'll end up much of the day being dry. We'll have partly cloudy skies. Breezy, though. Winds on Thursday afternoon could gust 25 to 30 miles per hour and getting much cooler behind that system as we go into Thursday night. If we look at your rainfall, still not looking too impressive. Most of the data here showing around a tenth inch to two tenths of an inch. Generally speaking, it looks like a quarter inch or less of rain with this front moving through. So at least that is good news. We're not getting a lot here. As we look at your extended forecast, again, the warmth continues through tomorrow, 73. 67 Thursday, but only 57 on Friday. I think Friday's dry, but just kind of cloudy, kind of a cool fall day. And then this weekend looks mainly dry, a little more sunshine, upper 50s to near 60, pretty seasonable. And we may see another rebound in temperatures towards the middle of next week.